at 21 Lessons with Kaja. You already know what it is. Pull a chair, sit down, come learn some. You already know what it is. Yay! Oh my god. Hey, you guys. It's Taja back for another video today. I hope everyone's doing exceptionally well. The lesson that I have to talk about today is quite simple. Something that I may get in a little trouble for, but I don't care. I'm about to be 21. If you got something to say, Say it to me. I'm sorry, mom and dad, but they gotta know. Okay, guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but honestly, I don't care. Anyway, today's lesson is about developing a relationship with the Lord and religion. No, I said that wrong. So today's lesson is about developing a true and authentic relationship with the Lord and how I value relationship with Jesus Christ over the established religion. So this is something that I talk to my dad about. I, my dad already know. I'm a person. Not only do I do my research, but I'm led by the Holy Spirit. And I just, I be, I be just going at him. But in short, what I learned is I just remember going to church so much growing up. Like, Church was my middle name, Zatazia Church Duffy. I mean, Zatazia, well, Zatazia Church Duffy Walk. Like, church was just in and out, in and out. All It seemed like just every week, just nonstop. And it got to a point where I just couldn't stand it anymore. I got tired of it. But maybe I'm going off into a tangent and we're not going to go there. But what I've learned, what I've come to value more recently within, I would say, maybe about the last... Mm, three years of my life is just this journey of valuing my relationship with the Lord more than religion and I sort of had an epiphany back in high school just um just this thought about how organized religion just gives me the heebie-jeebies um when I was in high school I learned a lot about the enlightenment and I learned about you know this whole religious I'm not about to get into this but I learned about you know why there are so many different denominations and i'm not gonna i don't want to be too controversial i'm not but when i look at organized religion and when i look at how self-serving it is a lot of times and how ritualistic it is i can't like i can't it bothers me when i feel like our culture and so much of our i'm gonna say our church culture seems to value the essence of church and just the act of going over actually genuinely living what we talk about and what we try to act like. Like, what is the point of pretending? What is the point? You know you pretending. And you know the Lord knows that you pretending. So what is the point? It gets on my nerves because I don't even have to know nobody's personal life. I don't. But it's just the thing that you can discern what people battle with. You can discern that... Okay, we're getting away from relationship and we're getting ritualistic here. If you look at the story of Cain and Abel, you see how ritualism is something that God absolutely demises. Ritualism got Cain in some big trouble. And so when God called Cain out on his ritualistic practices, all of a sudden he got mad and then he wanted to kill Cain. he wanted to kill Abel. When I look at religion over relationship, religion to me is a lot of people are like, oh, don't let the devil get you because you say a relationship over religion is so problematic and you're letting the devil get to you. The devil is not getting to me, baby. But what is getting into you? I'm not one of the people that's like, oh, you're possessed with the devil. But I'm saying this. When I look at religion and when I look at the essence of it, I look at practices. I look at traditionalism. And... While there are some traditions in the Bible that God blessed, that he ordained, there are a lot of things that we just do because we don't got nothing else better to do. There are a lot of things that we do, not because the Lord told us to do it, just because, hey, this is convenient. Let's do it today. God can't bless conveniency. I don't know if that's the word. God can't bless it. God cannot bless your ritualism. And when I look at how a lot of times our religion has become ritualistic, that's why we have more and more people leaving the kingdom of God. And I'm not saying that, oh, Christianity is under is under attack right now and everybody's leaving. But I'm saying that you turn people away. 
So that's what I say. When I look at a relationship, I look at something that is much more authentic. Something that is always evolving, right? Something that you can't necessarily perfect in one day or one week or one year. But something that you commit to. You know, like even if you look at our earthly relationships, they're not perfect. There are some days where you want to quit, but every day you get up and you're like, you know what? Let me commit to learning today. Let me commit to doing something different as opposed to religion. Which a lot of times I have seen how it perpetuates rules. It perpetuates a certain designation. Oh, you're special and you're not. Oh, you're high and mighty and you're not. Oh, let's treat you like God, but you're not. So until we get to a point where religion is not so falsely indoctrinated and self-serving, then I'm going to say relationship. Because if we look at the origins of religion and why we have so many denominations, it's not because everybody was so eager to go praise the Lord. It was because everyone wanted control of their own. So I said a lot, but... <laughs> Hopefully mommy and daddy don't get too mad.